Hi there, Pete Scargill here, enjoying the last couple of weeks of sunshine before heading off to the freezing cold UK. I've been a bit quiet over the last few days because I've had to uh, reinstall Windows on my computer from scratch due to a glitch. Um, anyway, I'm back up in operation and so I thought I'd put everything together in one video just to show you what's new, what's happening here. All right, let's have a look. So you may recall um, a couple of uh, discussions we've had recently on the blog. One has been about battery backup and another one has been about the Orange Pi Plus 2e and it's used with I squared C and displays. So just putting this all together, uh, I have a USB power lead coming in here, feeding one of those cheap one pound something or other chargers um, for a lithium battery. The output of the lithium battery is going to an MT type um, five volt converter. Um, I'll detail all of this in the video for you. Um, so I've got five volt coming to the board and that's me on reliable power. Uh, so if you look at the Orange Pi Plus 2E here, um, there is a, a standard I squared C output and that is going to this display here and that's just showing it says plus 2E welcome and then showing all sorts of stats about the board and that's our little Python program that's covered in the um, in the blog. Well I noticed um, that I seem to have access to a second I squared C channel and that is these uh, wires here. Uh, as it happens this thing's on 5 volts uh, I didn't have a spare 5 volt connector so I, I, I tested this on 3v3 and it seems to work just as well. So this one's plugged into 3v3, second I squared C channel. Same piece of software. Um, all I did was change the I squared C channel number from 0 to 1 and miraculously it all works. So what you're looking at here is pretty much the same display but they're running independently from each other. One on I squared C channel 0, the other one on I squared C channel 1. So that's uh, state of play with the Orange Pi Plus 2E, which I just think is wonderful. Right, in the meantime, I started a, a past comment about the Friendly Arm um, Duo. Uh, but that conversation came to a halt very quickly because they sent me the wrong one. They sent me the 256 meg version. Well, as you know, I tend to install the script on everything and really 256 megs just well just not enough really so this is the 512 meg version uh, it's quite cheap um, you put your uh, stuff onto an SD there so I guess it competes with I, I guess your orange your, your Raspberry Pi uh, zero Wi-Fi and that kind of thing because it's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth etc on it um, but the, the really nice thing about this is they also do a motherboard for setup uh, because maybe Wi-Fi isn't the best thing for actually doing your experimenting. And so here's the motherboard. And I've only just come to grasp um, some of the good things about this. So you plug your... I'll not put it in. You plug your board uh, into there and now you have... Uh, a more normal looking machine, you know, four USBs, um, Ethernet, etc. Um, microphone, audio input. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Oh, debug port. Um, that's your micro USB. And then there's uh, some connectors here. Uh, and then um, an SPI connector on the end. But here's the thing, also on this board, you can get a King Spec 64 gigabyte uh, micro SATA half size SSD. So actually this all together, though probably a bit expensive when you put the whole thing together. Well, you know, we, we've talked about SDs not being 100% reliable long term. Well, I wonder if one of these uh, hard disks is a... Uh, uh, solid state hard disks is a better bet. So anyway, there you go. There's the complete setup there. I'll be doing a blog entry on this shortly. I'm downloading the um, operating system now to put onto one of these and then we'll give it a good uh, hammering and see what it does. But of course, I guess the point is 
that if you develop something on this you can choose to then just take it off and use this on its own and use the motherboard for another one etc you know complete development environment i guess so there it is that's um that's what's new oh and um yeah somebody wrote in uh to say that they were having trouble with the ssd 1351 on uh, my software on the um, esp8266 well just to show you that it does work and just for so there's no doubt this is the board that i'm using it does have some settings as to whether you want three wire uh, spi or four wire spi and i've just left that at the default uh, settings uh, but as you can see from the little display here it's um it's working a treat um just to let you know how i got that uh there's the command string there on my little terminal ssd 1351 call on quotes dollars capital s that's uh, for reset hello and we'll just change that to hello there and we'll go back down to the little display and when i send that command as you can see it immediately updates and says hello there though so you can probably only make that out roughly because it looks to me like it's out of focus so there you are that's what's new um hope you enjoyed that look at the blog all of this is covered in the blog okay thanks for watching